Saint Guiyin Tao, whose baptismal name was Agnes, was born on April twenty eighth, eighteen twenty one, in Xinyi Wujiazhai, in the province of Guizhou. When she was eighteen, with the help of a matchmaker, she was married off to a farmer named Yan. The marriage was not a happy one, and two years later, her husband died. Her husband's brother and his wife kicked her out of the house. In order to survive, she worked as a maid. She endured the hardships and decided not to marry again, remaining chaste for God. Later, she met a widow named Jin Feng Ding, who was a devout Catholic and was very knowledgeable about Scripture. Saint Guiying asked her to be her roommate. While they lived together, Saint Guiying. With the help of Jin Feng Ding, was able to gain a great deal of scriptural knowledge. During the winter of the second year of the reign of the Emperor Xin Feng, Saint Guiying was sent to villages in Xilin County, Guangxi Province, to serve the local Miao people. She taught them housekeeping skills and also how to cook. She also helped them to look after their homes and take care of their children. She never complained. On Sundays, she taught them catechism. Her devotion and spirit inspired a lot of people till this day. In the middle of January 1856, anti-Catholic sentiment was on the rise. On January 20th, Saint Guiying was arrested and sent to Xi'an City. During the trial, the official of the city, Ming Fengzhang. Tried to convince Saint Guiying to apostatize by using nice words. She was steadfast. He then tried to scare her by using harsher words. After she had no reaction, he said, "If you do not apostatize, you will get the death penalty." Saint Guiying said, "Even should I die, I would never deny my Lord." The next day, the trial continued. There was no change in Saint Guiying. In the end. Saint Guiying was sentenced to be locked in a cage without food or water. For three days and nights, Saint Guiying prayed aloud for everyone to hear. On the fourth day, the day of her martyrdom, she was heard praying, "God have pity on me, Jesus save me." That was her last prayer. She was thirty-five years old. On May twenty-seventh, nineteen hundred. Saint Guiying Tao was beatified by Pope Leo the Thirteenth, and on October first, two thousand, was canonized by Pope Saint John Paul the Second. Her feast day is March first. Saint Guiying Tao, pray for us. Saint Tao Guiying, 为我等齐。